for this fishing lure I'm going to wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol. It'll leave it nice and clean and it'll be ready for the next step and we'll dry that with a hairdryer. You may need to use an adhesion promoter depending on the lures you have or even sanding. Let's get another one underway. So what we're doing is we're undercoating this one with Autoborn Sealer Lilac. Then we're going to put down about two coats and we're going to dry in between coats. And it's been reduced by about 20% with High Performance Reducer. Now for our hardware, we're going to use the Iwata Neo 0.5, the TRN2. Now that's a trigger handled airbrush. So what happens is it's like a spray gun when you let go of the trigger, the material and the air stops. It's very good for doing this kind of work. If you're not a full airbrush artist, anyone can get the hang of this. This fishing lure is going to look fairly psychedelic by the time we're done. We're going to create a handful of ring colours all the way from front to back and it's going to look like we used a lot more colours than we're actually going to. We're going to use the TRN2, the Iwata Neo Trigger 0.5mm, it's going to be best suited for this. And we're starting off with Wicked Pearl Yellow and it's been reduced by about 10% with High Performance Reducer. And our first step is to cover the very front of the lure with that colour. Following on from this we're going to still use the same airbrush and we're now going to put down a series of colours. We're going to do the same thing creating rings and we're going to start with Wicked Pearl Green and then we're going to use Wicked Pearl Blue and then Wicked Pearl Plum. Now what we want to do is we want to overlap the original ring that we're starting on and work our way back gradually. What all that will do is we've used only four colours in total but it will have seven different shades. It's a really cool effect. You need to try this one for yourself. We're only going to do a little bit of stenciling on this lure. So we've grabbed out from our AutoWear Colors Snacks Fishing Lure set and we've got the one that's just got the scales on the side and we've laid that down the side. Now we want some control so we're using the TRM1. We don't want to have a whole heap of paint put down here because it will nullify out all those pearls. So I've got some Silver Spectrum, the flare color from AutoWear Colors and we're just going to tint in the scales. We don't want to flatten the whole area out and this will have a glowing effect like holographics in every different direction you look at plus the pearls that are going to shimmer beneath this will be a stunning lure the last thing I want to do with this lure is to blend in the top a little bit because we don't want those scales to be just stand alone but we still want the pearls to be the predominant colors so what we're going to do is using the silver spectrum which is the flare color of autoware colors still in the airbrush I'm just going to put a few dust coats over the top of the lure and blend it down slightly into the scale so what will happen is this lure will glow from all directions and it will just reflect off the sunlight this will be a really nice effect it's time to bring these colors to life with clear coat so the products you've been using they're all water based base coats but they are all automotive grade pigments which means you can use acrylic lacquer clear you can use two pack clear you can dip them you can have a look at youtube you will find there's many different ways to clear coat your fishing lures but for this job i'm going to use the acrylic lacquer clear that i found at super cheap autos it's dupla color and it works very well with these paints and it doesn't go yellow a little bit about acrylic lacquer clear if you've got warm to hot conditions you can follow the manufacturer's specifications and you'll get a good result but if you've got cold conditions like we've got now we've got two degrees here right now which means the substrate temperature of the fishing lure is going to be lower than that if i try to clear it what's going to happen is the clear is going to either react and crocodile or it's going to crack it's not the paint we've put on it's going to be the clear coat reacting to the cold weather so what we're going to do is we're going to warm the fishing lure up by putting a fan heater in the area 
and then we're going to put on a couple of coats drying them with a hair dryer in between coats and that's only going to take 10 to 15 seconds then we're going to build up our coats until we get it nice and glossy now if you go for a really saturated coat it is possible you can get bloom being the fact that it's so cold and that it's going to be a white tinge so i suggest you build up your coats medium to wet and then when you've got it to a stage that you're happy with call it done these are the products we use to create our fishing lures and they're all found at airbrushmegastore.com except for the acrylic lacquer clear. If you need something you can't find it, send me an email, info at airbrushmegastore.com. I'm there to answer your questions. But for this kit, we use the Iwata Power Jet Pro. It's strong enough to run all day long. It comes with two different air lines on the unit, which means you can run a different air pressure to either side. That is suitable because we wanted to use the Iwata Trigger Airbrushes. They're both Neos. Why do we use these? Well, being a trigger, when you release the trigger, the airflow and the material stops. So if you're a beginner airbrush artist, you can get great great results immediately. If you try to go straight to a trigger airbrush on top of the airbrush, you're going to find that it's going to be harder to use. It's going to take a lot longer to get the knack of it. Don't let that put you off. If that's what you want to do, go for it. But the trigger on the front of the airbrush allows you to get results very quickly. Now, as far as the needle sizes, we used a 0.5 mil and a 0.35 mil. So the 0.5 mil you'd use for your undercoats and your flakes, and the 0.35 mil you would use that for doing your more detailed work. So after this, we used the Autoborn sealers as our undercoat. We used AutoWear colors, Wicked colors, and Illustration colors as our paint job colors. We used V-Tape to tape up our designs, and we also used the AutoWear Snacks Fishing Lure stencil set. Everyone needs to have these. It comes with a multitude of stencils in that set, different sizes. You can create your scales, your gill rakes, multiple designs. I can't see you doing fishing lures without them. And then we used a variety of Artool stencils, which gave us a great deal of different designs. So if you want to get the results that you've seen in this video, grab this gear and you'll get professional results too.